Hello everyone. Now I would like to talk about integration of even and odd function. But before talking about this lesson, we will define what is the even and odd function. Number one. If you have a function like f of x and f f of x, f of negative x sorry, is equal to f of x itself, then the function f of x is even is even function uh, number two if f of negative x equal opposite to this function negative f of x then f of x is odd function for every or for, for all x and negative x belongs to the domain of f of x then x and negative x must be uh, an element for the domain for this function then if you replace x with negative x and you will get the same function then the function is even but if you will get the opposite to this function in their signs then the function it will be odd if it doesn't get any one of these points then the function neither odd nor even a simple example for even and odd number one f of x equal x square this function if you replace x with negative x it will be negative x all square which is what which is positive x square which is mean you will get the same function here x square x square then this mean f of x is an even function and if you draw this function you will get the parabola like this and if you want to evaluate the area from negative 2 to 2 this is an enclosed interval from negative 2 to 2 then you will get the area under the curve and over the x-axis and between the two vertical line negative 2 and 2 these areas and you know that the area equal the definite integral from negative 2 to 2 for x square dx because this is x square and you can decide this area is double the area from 0 to 2 for x squared dx and you will note that the graph for the even function is symmetric about y axis this is a very important note to you The even function is the graph of the even function is symmetric about what about the y-axis other example number two f of x is equal to x cube if you replace x with negative x you will get what negative x sorry negative x all to the power 3 negative raised to power odd it will be negative and x to the power 3 this mean it is negative f of x then the f of negative x equal negative f of x this mean the function is odd f of x is odd and here if you draw the graph for this function I think you can draw a curve like this and you can know that the function here or the graph of the function here is symmetric about about what about the origin point zero and zero okay if you would like to get the area under the curve from negative two to two then you have an area down and area up 
which is mean the area up it will be positive area and the area down it will be negative area and from negative 2 to 0 and from 0 to 2 have the same area but one of them is opposite to the other which is mean here the area from negative 2 to 2 for x cubed dx it will be what it will be 0 because you will add a number by its opposite like 2 and negative 2 and, or 3 and negative 3 and so on then if the graph of the function is symmetric about the origin point this means the function is odd function if the graph is not symmetric about the y-axis or the origin point then the function is neither odd nor even after these examples I would like to define a theorem which say if f of x is integrable in the closed interval a and b then sorry a sorry integrable in the closed interval negative a and a take care from these numbers the number and its opposite not from a to b then number one f f of x is even function then integral from negative a to a for f of x with respect to d with respect to x it will be double the integral from 0 to a for f of x dx as we said as we said before okay this is number one number two if f of x is odd function here then the function here the integral from negative a to a here it will be zero this is number two now if the function f of x is integrable from negative a to a then the function f and if the function f of x is odd function then the integral from negative a to a for this function it will be zero without calculating by applying this this theorem how to apply this theorem I think it will help me if the function is odd more than it's even number one evaluate the integral from negative 3 to 3 for x cube minus 3x according to x or with respect to x here f of x is what f of x is x cubed minus 3x okay and you will find the integral from negative 3 to 3 this is an enclosed interval from negative a to a then you can apply the theorem then you'll check f of x is even or odd then f of negative x it will be negative x all cube minus 3 multiplied by negative x it will be negative x cube plus 3x if you look for this is negative x cube and this is positive x cube and this is positive 3x and this is negative 3x both of them are opposite to the given then it will be negative f of x which is mean f of x here is odd then from the theorem the integral from negative 3 to 3 for this function this function is odd function then this integral will be what it will be zero then we have the answer now the integral it will be zero without solving this integration another example evaluate 
the integral from negative 2 to 2 for x power 4 plus 3x power 2 plus 5 dx. Here we have from negative 2 to 2, this is an closed interval from negative 2 with the number and its opposite. This means you will check this function f of x is equal x power 4 plus 3x power 2 plus 5. It is even or odd. Then you will change x with negative x. It will be negative x to the power 4 plus 3 multiplied negative x to the power 2 plus 5. Any negative number is to power even it will be positive x power 4 negative x power 2 is even then it will be 3x power 2 plus 5 then to give me the same function which is mean f of x here is even function which is mean this integration will be what it's going to be double from 0 to 2 for x power 4 plus 3 x power 2 plus 5. You're gonna find this variable by finding the, the integral for this function. It will be what you will apply the power rule x power 4, it will be x power x power what? Sir x power 5 divided 5 plus 3 x power 2, it will be 3 x power 3 divided 3 plus 5 x. From what to what? from x equal to 0 to x equals to 2 multiplying by 2. Now I think 2 dot multiplied by the first one, 2 power 5 over 5 plus 3 cancelled here, it will be 2 power 5, power 3, sorry, plus 5 multiplied by 2 and the other minus 0 plus 0 plus 0. Then it will be double this value. 2 power 5, it will be what? 32 over 5, plus 8, plus 10, and I think you can get this value. Thank you for watching.